recently, as I was looking at my past videos, I began to realize that the last several videos that I've done revolve around a central theme, that theme being bridges. So I decided to put this compilation together to collect the video from the last couple of flights. The first bridge on the tour is the Theodore Roosevelt Lake Bridge. The Theodore Roosevelt Lake Bridge is a vehicular bridge that crosses a portion of Roosevelt Lake between Gila and Maricopa counties in Arizona, just at the point where the Salt River exits the lake. Before the bridge was built, traffic on Arizona State Route 188 crossed the Salt River directly on top of Roosevelt Dam. The dam was originally designed to accommodate the width of two Ford Model T automobiles. But as cars got wider, the road had to be reduced to a single lane, which made the bridge necessary. The bridge was listed by the American Consulting Engineers Council in 1995 as one of the top 12 bridge designs in the United States, and it is currently the longest two-lane, single-span, steel arch bridge in North America. It cost $21.3 million to build in 1992. It's truly a beautiful span, and I was there on a perfect day to photograph it. Next, we come to London Bridge. London Bridge is a bridge on the Colorado River in Lake Havasu City, Arizona. It was built in the 1830s and it formerly spanned the River Thames in London, England. It was dismantled in 1967 so that it could be replaced by a newer bridge. But the masonry from the bridge was purchased by Robert P. McCullough from the City of London and was used to clad a new reinforced concrete structure that he had built in Arizona. McCulloch had the exterior granite blocks from the original bridge numbered and transported to the United States to construct the present bridge in Lake Havasu City. This is a planned community he established in 1964 on the shores of Lake Havasu. The bridge was completed in 1971. It links an island in the Colorado River which was created by dredging a canal with the main part of the Lake Havasu City. The rededication of the London Bridge took place on October 10, 1971. London Bridge is currently the third most popular tourist attraction in Arizona. Our next bridge is actually two twin bridges, which were built several years apart. The Burrow Creek bridges are located on the remote Burrow Creek Gorge along Highway 93, about 15 miles south of Wikiup, Arizona. They are two of the southwestern United States' longest arch spans. The original silver-colored two-lane truss bridge was built in 1966 by the American Bridge Company and spans 680 feet between hinges. In 2005, a second span of 700 feet was built parallel to the original Burrow Creek Bridge. The bridges are 388 feet above the creek. The newer, rust-weathered arch now carries the two lanes of the northbound traffic, while the original 1966 span handles the southbound traffic. A campground and wilderness area 
are located about a mile downstream of the crossing, where you can hike along the south side of the creek and view the bridges from below. The site is a favorite of Phoenix area base jumpers. Luckily, there were no base jumpers there when I stopped because I don't think I could handle watching people jump off a perfectly good bridge for no reason. This brings us to our fourth bridge. As you drive from Wickenburg, Arizona, along the Hasayampa River on US Highway 60, you spot a lonely railroad bridge off to the west between two outcroppings of rock. I've passed this picturesque spot for over 30 years, and finally my curiosity got the better of me, and I decided that I had to visit the site. The bridge is accessed through an underpass from a parking lot on the other side of the highway and you walk down about a mile of soft sand and gravel of the dry riverbed to reach it. As you can see from this video, the riverbed is a popular thoroughfare for off-road drivers. After getting some footage of the bridge, I was rewarded by having a short train cross the bridge while I filmed. This track connects the Phoenix area with the small towns west of Phoenix, and it also connects it to the major cross-continental line to the north near Flagstaff. In this view, we're looking off to the southeast. Sun City and Surprise, Arizona are in the distance, and to the right, you can just see the edge of the White Tank Mountains. Well, that's the video. I hope you enjoyed it. 